Hello everyone, my name is Christian Igulescu, you know me for a lot of automation with your iPad. Today we'll do a nice use case with ChatGPT and Salesforce. In a video here, I showed you how to work from ChatGPT to call your iPad, and ChatGPT will wait for the response from your iPad. Here you have all the configuration. Today we'll have a, a business case with uh, with Salesforce. So again, from ChatGPT, ChatGPT, I will use the... Um, uh, I will use the GPTs and um, I will show you how to call your iPad. Your iPad will work with Salesforce response to ChatGPT. And uh, again, we have multiple um, ping pong between ChatGPT and um, and um, your iPad. So uh, what I will do, I will do, I will do the, the, the example will be simple like this. I will start with the um, um, business card. So I'll start with, with the business card that uh, uh, it's here on my PC. Let's see it uh, here. So uh, I start with the business card and I will say, Company, company is jump sec. So even if it's uh, reading from the, uh, um, means it from the business card is reading the the company. Uh, I say that the company is jump sec because I have this company in Salesforce to see how it's uh, working with the, with this company. So the. Um, System will call your iPad. Your iPad will uh, have a process here that uh, it's um, interrogating software. And with this process with integration software, uh, interrogating Salesforce, uh, your iPad will check with Salesforce if, if we have any details about this company. Yeah, And you'll see that in case of this company, we have uh, um, uh, multiple contacts and we have uh, some opportunities. So this data, uh, detail will be pro provided to Salesforce based on this detail, uh, to the to the GPT. So based on this detail, uh, um, GPT will decide that ChatGPT will decide that the, the recommendation is to send an email to this person to say that look we have multiple um, multiple contacts on your company you have to talk internally with uh, with your uh, uh, with your team to uh, let's say send email you have to talk internally with, with your team to uh, uh, to see what's the best way to contact your iPad via your 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 colleague that already have engaged with your iPad yeah. So the system will go and um, uh, call another uh, ChatGPT. Will send another call to uh, to your iPad. I confirm the action, uh, and uh, with this um, um, with this call, basically. Uh, will start another process, and on this process, the system will see that the decision is to send an email. So your iPad will go send an email to to this person and inform him that we have multiple. Contacts for uh, for this uh, company in our Salesforce database. Yeah, so it's better to talk internally with um, uh, his colleagues. And we are informed now that the uh, um, um, the email was sent successful, and we'll get this email on the on this one. Wait uh, uh, half a minute to receive the emails. In this time, let's to take another use case. So on the same idea, we'll upload the uh, uh, chat. Uh, um, uh, we'll upload the, the business card and we'll say that the company is compa, company is uh, test you YouTube six. Yeah. So this is the name of the company, test YouTube six. Test YouTube 6, uh, proceed to check uh, for Test YouTube 6 in the Salesforce database. Uh, the chat GPT will start the action, will confirm the action, uh, will confirm that um, uh, we want this action. And um, your iPad robot will go to uh, Salesforce. You see that the robot is it's, uh, it's working. We'll go to Salesforce and um, uh, he will check if we have any information about this test company in uh, in Salesforce, yeah, uh, test YouTube. Uh, as you think, we don't have test YouTube in uh, test YouTube 16 Salesforce. And uh, ChatGPT will recommend us the result appears that no company exists. The recommendation is to add the uh, 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 recommendation is to um, to add a lead, yeah. So we'll add a lead, add Mark Smith as a, as a lead in Salesforce. So I will say add lead. And uh, um, we'll confirm. ChatGPT will uh, will be able to call another process from your iPad. This process uh, will know that 
in the same time, I already uh, get the information. You see that um, uh, uh, the, it was the dear Mars meet. Uh, we informed that uh, we established a connection with Jump Stick, and we have multiple colleagues. Yeah. So the uh, this is the email from the uh, uh, the other automation. Here he finished the uh, the uh, the 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 lead, the adding of the lead. The lead Mark Smith was uh, uh, created in uh, uh, in Salesforce. So we go here leads, and on the leads, um, on the leads we have we see that we have Mark Smith with the company Test YouTube, and so on. Yeah. So we'll say uh, delete. Okay, good. So here are the lead. Let's take the last use case. So the last use case is like this. Let's um, uh, let's add this one to a company that has some contacts. So uh, and let's see what is the decision of there. So they they need to to see how you provide uh, you provide ChatGPT contacts from Salesforce uh, uh, company company is um, so let's go on the account accounts and I think Soft Alpha. It's a company that has one contact. Yeah, you have Soft Alpha. This company has only one contact. So let's say that uh, the company is uh, uh, Soft Alpha, and let's see uh, what uh, 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 what uh, the, our robot will say to ChatGPT. Check the existing records. Uh, the cell, uh, the ChatGPT will be able to. You see that I'm in a one chat uh, in in one GPTs, I'm able to access multiple process from UAP from only one GPT. So I don't need to go to different GPTs to do something. I'm only one GPT that is able to access multiple process from UAP. Any side of the process will make different decisions. Yeah. Okay, so let's see the data that uh, we receive uh, from uh, UAPAT. A company says is already a company um, company record. We have the opportunity and we have the contact. Yeah, so the command decision is to add contact. Yeah, so we say that uh, we want to add contact, add contact, and ChatGPT will call again UiPad and will pro will uh, will tell him this decision, and um, the UiPad system will add the contact uh, uh, in in Salesforce. So we say we have the decision data, and on the decision data uh, uh, process will start. And um, uh, we will see when it's finished to um, recommendation. Well, uh, something was, uh, 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 let's see, something was not uh, uh, format well. Uh, bad request. Uh, ah, duplicate. We already have this contact. So that, that's the idea, you see. Uh, uh, we already have this contact. Uh, it was, uh, let's see, uh, Mark Smith. <laughs> so we, we keep it on another. Uh, so let's go to contacts. Uh, contact. Uh, uh, contact. So probably we have the, the same name or the uh, search. Uh, we have, look, Mark Smith, Christian Negulescu, Soft Alpha. So uh, this contact was re already created from the last demo, yeah, and that's why. Uh, but he communicated. He, he communicated to us that uh, uh, it was an error talking with uh, uh, with uh, with this one, yeah. So we already have from from the last uh, demo, and um, now we can see it here. Okay, good. So the idea was, you see, only one GPT can communicate with multiple. Uh, uh, your iPad processes and make different decision on on different uh, um, uh, on different parts of the Salesforce. So let's see how how this is working. Like I said, the main idea for the configuration is to use this video how to call your iPad process from JPT, wait for the response, and so on. I will focus here just on the configuration of the chat GPT and what is inside of the process of your iPad. Let's start with your iPad because it's easier on your iPad. I have two processes that is called, uh, you saw it was here, uh, interrogation, uh, interrogate Salesforce and inter uh, data decision. That was the name of the process. But unfortunately, the name of the process is here. It's uh, um, com email. It's the name with um, interrogation of Salesforce. And here you can see that I have a manual trigger. I search for the record. I search for the company name. Here I have the condition with, with the company name. So you see that if that account name contained the company name, say cancel. 
Uh, then I have a log. I have a for each on on the account. I will I will put inside of the JSON. So I create a JSON, and inside of the JSON I will put the ID of the company, and I put the uh, um, here the the company uh, the the I, the name of the company and comp and the ID of the account because I need this to the to the second call. And then I assure that account is valid. So I have an account and I have uh, at least one, one element on, on that account. And then I will say, get opportunities. So I'll extract all the opportunities for the, for the account. I will um, populate a JSON with, uh, with these opportunities. Here I will, um, like this, I put opportunity name, opportunity value, opportunity stage. You saw it display in ChatGPT. Then I create a, a contact uh, with a list. Um, uh, I create a list with the contacts. And I put uh, again a JSON with uh, first name, last name, email to inform ChatGPT. And then I add everything to a collection. So in the end, I add everything to to the collection. In case I don't have uh, uh, I don't have a result, I don't have a company. I have here the result. I don't have a company in Salesforce with the name. And we recommend you to add this uh, uh, add this lead in Salesforce. Yeah. So this is the um, interrogation of Salesforce process. And the second process, it's called uh, um, decision. Here it's uh, under this name. And I have a switch and based on, on the decision, so I have a decision parameter. And based on the decision parameter, I will say, I want to send an email. So I will send an email where I have the email, the subject, the body. Remember that the chat GPT create for me all the uh, all the stuff with the email, body, and, and subject. Um, or I create a lead where I have the last name, the company name, the first name, email, and phone. Or in the last case, I create a contact with the last name, first name, account ID, email, phone, and so on. Yeah. So these are the uh, uh, and I said the response uh, here. I uh, I say uh, on the response that uh, I create the, the contact or I create the lead or I send the email. Yeah. So this is inside of uh, uh, UiPath. The the two processes inside of UiPath and inside of um, um, Inside of uh, UiPath Orchestrator, you have the API triggers, which here are configure the uh, the API triggers to so on triggers API. You have uh, two API triggers, yeah. And here in ChatGPT, the configuration is like this. If I go to this one and say edit GPT, I have here the um, uh, the decision so say if i find the first name last name email company when i when i scan, scan the business cards i find this one i explain to how to extract all the data then um if you analyze the text and you, this is the first the second decision if you analyze the text and you find send an email at the elite contact now you must call the decision the the action with the pet decision so here on the second one it's with the pet decision and the first one it's with the Path check cells, and I will tell you exactly where is where is this path. Here I say you must call the extract the variables. Don't display the JSON row. You must. Uh, and here, in case of uh, if it's uh, if uh, we have how you have the contact. If you have three or more contacts, you have to recommend to send an email. If you have one or two contacts in Salesforce, you can recommend to add a contact. If you don't have a company in Salesforce, we recommend to add a lead. Yeah. So ChatGPT will predict also also the, uh, the your decision for the second uh, part of the uh, automation. And here inside of the um, um, the schema, basically I have two paths. I have one path that is for check sales and another path that is for decision. Yeah. And here I just have the div uh, div variable uh, defined with uh, first uh, first name, last name, email, and company. And here there are multiple variables with uh, phone, email, uh, account, ID, and so on, what I need. So that's all. That's all on the configuration. And uh, in this way, you saw that uh, in one GPT, I'm able to handle multiple process. I have I am able to have multiple operation with, uh, uh, with UiPath and uh, communicate data between uh, ChatGPT and UiPath. ChatGPT is able to aggregate the data and it's able to compose all the stuff for UiPath process. As usual, if you like my movies, please subscribe to my channel. Ask me what else you want to see on my, ch on my uh, channel. Comment to my movies and uh, tell me what, what is the new trend on uh, these AI agents. Let's put it like this. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Have a good one. Bye-bye.